Thank you. Good afternoon. It's a humbling privilege to be here this afternoon. I'm a naive Sagittarian optimist. And I see a world of people helping one another to achieve their potential in a beautiful environment. Others see a world to market to, and they're good at selling to it. Take cars. They sell the seductive promise of a lifestyle. They sell on speed. They sell through oozing, sexy sounds. They sell freedom. In short, they sell desire, and we cannot resist. But in a resource-constrained world, they're contributing to a problem of alarming magnitude. Today, right now, we're presiding over the first mass extinction event on this planet for 65 million years. And yet, whilst almost all of us understand this, the truth is that in the developed world, very few of us have materially changed the way that we live. And why might this be? In communications terms, activists lobby, but their message does not appeal to many. Scientists, well, they know the data, but their analysis and their prognosis tend to scare and paralyze rather than mobilize. Politicians, business leaders, and even celebrity often preach, and none of us like being told what to do. And as for us, we're all just too busy, leading very complicated, complex lives and juggling often competing priorities. But perhaps great creativity can help us find a path through. Great creativity is astonishingly, absurdly, rationally, irrationally powerful. Great creativity can spread tolerance, spread freedom, can shine a spotlight on social deprivation. Great creativity is the mem maker that puts slogans on our t-shirts and phrases on our lips. What if great creativity could be used to help inspire people to lead a more sustainable life, to turn it from a chore to a pleasure, to move it from being something we feel we ought to do to something that we want to do, to make leading a greener life a little more cool, a little more desirable? One such initiative that's doing its bit uh, to help on this is Green Thing, a community, a not-for-profit, created by Tedster Andy Hobsbawm and Pentagram partner Narash Ramchandani, two wonderful people and creative marketeers that I'm lucky enough to work with. Green Thing aims to use creativity to inspire people to lead a greener life. Remember the cars? Here's a little scrap of creative antidote. You know, said the man, rather than drive today, I'm going to walk. And so he walked. And as he walked, he saw things, strange and wonderful things he would not otherwise have seen. A deer with an itchy leg, a flying motorcycle, a father and daughter separated from a bicycle by a mysterious wall. And then he stopped. Walking in front of him was her. The woman who as a child had skipped with him through fields and broken his heart. Sure, she had aged a little. In fact, she'd aged a lot. But he felt all his old passion for her return. Ford, he called softly. For that was her name. Don't say another word, Gusty, she said. For that was his name. I know a tent next to a caravan exactly 300 yards from here. Let's go there and make love. In the tent, Ford undressed. She spread one leg and then the other. Gusty entered her boldly and made love to her rhythmically while she filmed him because she was a keen amateur pornographer. The earth moved for both of them and they lived together happily ever after. And all because he decided to walk that day. Thank you, Narash and Stephen, for that. 
Green Thing provides an inspiration feed of stories, music, film, poetry, and things, both created and also curated to help make people smile, think, want, and act to make a difference. Like these gloves I'm wearing, lost single gloves found around the world, sent into Green Thing, lovingly tended and restored, and then marketed as something altogether more wonderful. Or this T-shirt, found in the back of a cupboard, saved and given a new lease of life. Or this rather delicious light switch that we spied in Japan. The science is done, the moral imperative is obvious. Creativity can play its part to make a difference. So this is a call, a plea, to the wonderfully talented TED community. Let's get creative and let's do it soon. Thank you.